Okay, so I'm just at about 7,500 miles. So it's a good time for the change engine oil soon thing to come on. And, um, well, I guess what they expect you to do is call up and, you know, schedule a time when you're going to bring the car in so you can pay them a lot. Or do what I'm doing. Just do it yourself. So you might wonder why I'm going to do it myself. Is it to save money? Well, yeah. Uh, also, I don't trust people. I've seen way too many times that they over-tighten the plugs. Uh, yes, they have a torque recommendation of 18 pound-feet. But uh, for some reason, I guess when people are busy, they just, uh, I don't know if they use the, the air hammer or, <laughs> well, you know, same thing they're using to pull the lugs. But uh, I've actually had uh, it at the dealership strip out a my wife's car. They uh, screwed up the uh, oil pan on, on one of them. So I don't love the dealers. I mean, what am I going to say? But uh, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. And I'm not doing this on a lift. I'm doing it in my driveway. That's why it's dad's driveway, right? <laughs> So with that, uh, come on along and we will change this oil. So right here, I have pretty much everything you're going to need, right? Uh, you're going to need seven and a half quarts of this uh, special ESP formula. It's great for emissions. Hopefully it's good for the engine. Uh, you're going to need a uh, oil filter cap. I mean, this is the easiest way to, way to have this thing opened up. I keep it in here. I probably shouldn't. Why bother? But, there we go, that's the one I got. That's straight off of uh, Amazon. I will put a link below uh, so you get the right one. Because this one fits absolutely perfect with the OEM AC Delco filter. I'll pull this one out and show you what I mean. Don't need that box no more. This fits on here, perfect. So, that's what you want. If you're going to jack up the car, you need these pucks. They actually feel a heck of a lot like hockey pucks. Uh, you know, so if you wanted to like pull off a wheel, which I might be doing, it looks like I might have a slow leak. I'll have to find it, but uh, these fit in notches on the frame. I'll, when I get under it, I'll show you how. I am not going to use this though for what I'm doing today. I'm actually using ramps backwards. I'm going to back up on the ramps. The tires are actually wider than my ramps by a little bit, but that's okay. I'll just back it up and then I'll chalk the uh, front tires with something and we should be just fine. Okay, so that worked out just fine. It sticks over on this side a little bit, and it sticks over on the outside over here a little bit. Um, and then I got some little uh, wood chocks up in the front there, so that should be just fine. It's not going to roll away on me. It's also in park, obviously. So we've got our drain pan. It's all nice and empty, ready for the seven and a half quarts, and that's what the CA takes, is seven and a half quarts. So let's... Uh, Get under there, the, the motor is warm enough that uh, it's going to probably scold a little bit, but that's okay. So uh, let's uh, get, get down there and start doing some oil. Okay, so last time I did this, I did it with uh, jacks. This time I figured the ramps would be nice, but uh, they don't really lift it up high. Maybe if I had toilet ramps, it would be nice, but uh, I think I can just about do it. I'm under the car now, and I'm slithering along, kind of like a snake on my back here. And uh, you can see the filter right here. And then the oil plug has got a portal right in front there. So this should be easy squeezy. Okay, by the way, this is how these pucks work, right? It's right in front of the rear tire. We're looking at the, uh, the back of the car here. And uh, well, I figure while I'm letting it finish draining, I'll show you guys this. So there's a little slot. And this just goes in there, and you turn it, and it'll stay there. That way, when you come over with a jack, you can jack, and you'll be jacking on this, which is a nice solid area, and you're not scratching up your car. I guess that's the, uh, the idea behind it. 
time for me to put the plug back in. Okay, so now that she's empty of the oil, I'm just going to take a rig, clean up the plug. Nothing on it, just oil. By the way, at 500 miles when I did this, it wasn't uh, wasn't full of metal either, so I don't know if you really need to, but I just did it because why not? Push it up, just all threading. Okay. And just clean up all around there. Okay, whatever you do, don't leave it hand tight. I've seen that before too. I elect not to do it with the uh, reference torque, but it is roughly. I'm, I'm pretty good at it after doing this for 30 something years. Now it's time to yank the filter out. That's a little messy. Now, oh, geez, couldn't see a darn thing. <laughs> well, I just took out the filter. Uh, it was pretty simple. The thing just screws off. And uh, there's only one thing you really want to do with the filter. When you pull it off, uh, just take a look and make sure that, that, uh, that the rubber seal is attached to the filter. If not, it's attached to the block. And if you put a new filter on and have the old seal on there, you're going to have a double seal and it will not seal. Uh, uh it's this thing is a little bit loose on there. I mean, it's a 15 flute. It's the right size, but it does get a little bit wedged, I guess, if it's really tight. So I had to knock it off. It, it wasn't hard. I mean, it came right off, but I couldn't pull it off with my hand. Just a heads up on that one. So anyway, put this up here. And then I'm only going like another quarter turn because I already got it to go. Almost a half turn, but my hand was greasy, so I couldn't get the full amount that I wanted. There we go. That's cool. And there we go. I just got to tighten up the... Oh, no, wait. I already did the, uh, the plug. So I think we are then good. Let's get up top. Dipstick. Oil cap. Come on, baby. Holy crap, that thing's tight. I need two hands. Or my other hand, anyway. Well, who says a two-liter soda bottle is not good for anything? <laughs> it makes a pretty good funnel when you can't find yours. I do love the way this stuff pours. It's like water. Compared to 2050 that I used to use in some of my cars, this stuff just pours right down. 2050 is more like a, I don't know, almost a honey compared to this. That's the second court. All right, just uh, five and a half more to go. Okay, so I'm up to the one where I have to do a half a quart. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these bottles that's empty and fill it up halfway. Uh, that way I know I can just dump the rest in there. That way I'm not playing any guessing games. So, cause I can obviously go back and forth with these to make sure it's exactly a half. Okay, and here we go. I got my half quart for this time and next time already done. Okay, so now to uh, start her up, check for any leaks, make sure we got oil pressure, 
Uh, there's absolutely zero reason this should not be, but... There we go. Everything's looking good. And now I'm going to have to turn off that change engine oil soon, because uh, it's done. Okay, so now you just, uh, well, have fun cleaning up anything you spilled a little bit. I did spill a teeny bit, but that's okay. And it's looking pretty good to me now. Uh, oh, by the way, something I did, I waxed these bars because they looked really um, sort of nasty before. But now they're looking a, l a little bit more polished and I liked, I even waxed up here because anything is metal, I wanted to protect. Okay, in order to reset your engine oil, you gotta go through uh, your stuff, you know, so go to maintenance and go down, or no, go click on this. And there's a reset engine oil. I'd like to reset now and check for yes. And there we go, engine oil is back to 100%. Now all I gotta do is clean up. Uh, I got a bunch of bottles laying around and uh, I'll recycle those. Got some oil, I'm gonna recycle that and uh, well, bunch of rigs and that's about it the rest of it i keep for next time <laughs>